Hi, Connection Kids! If you remember the last lesson of Fear Not, we started to learn about the Holy Spirit and how He helps us. Do you remember one of the big ways that the Holy Spirit helps us? He helps us be bold like lions. In these next few lessons, we're going to learn more ways the Holy Spirit helps us. Today's main point is the Holy Spirit is waiting to help you. Just ask. But before we get into that, let's watch this video about the very first time that God sent his Holy Spirit down to earth to some people back in Bible days. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. The Holy Spirit isn't some make-believe magical being like a fairy godmother or like a scary ghost. The Holy Spirit is our helper in life. Our verse for this series is found in John chapter 14, verses 16 and 17, where Jesus said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. He is the Spirit of truth. He lives with you and will be in you. The Holy Spirit is a part of God, and He's here to help us with everything. The Holy Spirit is waiting to help you. You just have to ask. So what does it mean that the Holy Spirit is waiting to help? Do any of you know who Siri is? 
I'm sure you've heard somebody talk to her on their phone, or maybe you have yourself. Siri is a tool that helps us with any number of things. Finding directions to places, helping us send text messages, and even defining words. Let's see if she's there and ready to help me. Hey Siri, are you there? I'm here. Can you define the word bamboozle for me? Bamboozle is an informal term. It means fool or cheat someone. Did Siri just start talking to me out of nowhere? No, I had to start the conversation so she could find out how she could help me. Jesus has sent us a helper, and the Holy Spirit is waiting to help you. Just ask. The Holy Spirit doesn't help us send texts or get directions for us. What kind of things do you think the Holy Spirit can help us with? Well, what about when you don't know what to do? Or when you need boldness? The Holy Spirit helps you to pray and talk to God. Just ask. When we face problems in our lives, whether big or small, we can always ask the Holy Spirit for help. But just like Siri is always waiting to help you out, you have to speak to Siri and ask for what you want or need, right? If I never ask Siri for help, then I never get any help. I have to ask like this. Hey Siri, are you there? I'm listening. Can you help me get directions to Djibouti? Getting directions to Djibouti. And the Holy Spirit is the same way. He is waiting to help. We just have to ask. Thank you for watching lesson one of help. We will be delivering lesson packets to our church family this weekend. But if you would like to watch previous videos or download activity pages, please visit the Connection Kids page at www.connectcorona.com. We miss you all and we can't wait to see your smiling faces again soon. God bless.